I'm Belen Curcio. I'm 23 years old. I am from Argentina, Buenos Aires. I'm a software engineer. I work with React and a lot of cool tools. Very cool. So you work at the Mozilla Foundation. What do you do there? I am in a project called Core Project, where I work with uh, the New York Times and the Washington Post, building amazing tools for journalists and newsrooms. Ah, very awesome. So I know you were recently rewarded a scholarship for React Conf. How did that actually come about? Yeah, uh, basically, um, I filled a big form. I, I wrote an essay about what I do, uh, what I do in the community for Argentina, and what we do for Mozilla, for Mozilla, for newsrooms and everything. And it was amazing to find out that I won a scholarship. What was it like to hang out with the Facebook core team? It was amazing. I mean, they, they are humans, so that's like amazing. Uh, they are like super friendly. They, you, you get to ask them about everything. I mean, uh, how they build stuff, the process of, of, of everything. Uh, um, yeah, they're really cool. What was the, one of the biggest realizations for you going to React Conf? Uh, realizing um, that, yeah, that they are all humans, basically. Uh, they, they are as scared as you are of really writing code, or they have like the same imposter syndrome that you have at the beginning when, when you start building stuff, you start open source uh, products, and they have the same the same feelings that you do when you write. It's been it's been pretty great so far. So I know you're spending a lot of time building communities in Argentina. Tell us a little bit more about that. Um, I uh, I'm currently working like in Meetup JS in Argentina. We get together every month and uh, try to try to talk about everything about JS and new frameworks and new. Uh, Coding styles, uh, also how to improve uh, women in tech. Uh, mm -hmm. How is that also? This is also a topic there in Argentina too. And uh, another uh, meetup that I work, that I'm work, currently working on is um, Nardos. That's another meetup uh, where basically we can nerd about anything. I mean, we go far, far with a topic. We pick a topic and we go far, far with it. It's amazing. Can you tell me a little bit more about GraphQL and Apollo? Um, a couple of months ago, we decided that we talk uh, our latest product in, in Core Project. We wanted to, to perform different queries to the back end. Uh, we needed a, a pretty more extensible tool to query our back end and everything. So we, choose, we chose um, GraphQL as a, communi a communication layer for the APIs. And it was, uh, it was amazing. <laughs> we, we are developing, uh, as our developer experience uh, is so much better since we decided to change that. And yeah, it was an amazing experience. We are also using Apollo, mm -hmm. which is, uh, it sits on the top of the communication with GraphQL servers. And yeah, the whole stack, it's, it's, it's amazing. Have you played around with any new technologies in React lately? I'm, I'm, ex I'm experimenting a bit with Fiverr and all the new school stuff. Uh, but yeah, n not, uh, yeah, basically that. I mean, it's pretty exciting. The React community is definitely a really amazing, welcoming one. And I really love seeing the fashion of all the React women here. What do you love about the React community? Um, I think it's not because of the library itself, it's not because of React itself, it's what it brought. I mean, it, it's a, we develop our front ends completely different. We have like different like jobs for it, different like positions. We have engineering, uh, we have like the build process, we have like uh, how to query from the front end to the back end, how to build clients, how to uh, get better at the UX and everything. And it, it helped uh, improve so much the, the front end infrastructure of it. And it, it brought a new way of, uh, of building stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's something amazing. I mean, yeah, moving well, forward always. Where can we find you on the internet? Sorry? Where can we find you online? Um, my Twitter handle is Okbel, O-K-V-E-L. Mm -hmm. And yeah, basically there, also my GitHub account is that one too. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much for having me.
Hey there. Are you into reactive programming using JavaScript? Do you have to deal with asynchrony in your web app? Then join this dot instructor Ben Lesh to learn all of the ins and outs of RxJS in his hands-on workshop. Available online and in person, go to rxworkshop.com for more details and to book your spot today.